beginning in the middle to what may be digested in a play. Like or find fault, do as your pleasures are. Now good or bad, tis but the chance to walk. So many hours. Lives. Speeches spent. Thus once again says Nestor from the Greeks. <laughs> they live with hell then. And all them is yours. That's all them. Loss of time, trivial, expense, and what else, dear, that has consumed the hot digestion of this cormorant war? Shall we struck up? The wound of peace is surety. Surety secure. The modest doubt is called the beacon of the wise. Let Helen go. Since the first sword was thrown about this question, every Thai soul most many thousand times has been as dear as Helen. I mean of ours. If we have lost all intent of ours to cut a thing not ours, nor was to us, had in our name the value of one ten, what merit in that reason which denies the eating of her up? Fie, fie, my brother. Were you the word in honor of a king so great as a dread father in a scale of common ounces? Will you with countess sell the past proportion of his infants and buckle in a waste most fathomless with spans and inches so diminutive as fears and reasons? I forgot the shape. Brother, she's not worth what she does cause the hoarding. What is odd, but as this value? The value dressed not in particular will. 
it holds his estimate and dignity as well wearing his precious of itself as in the prizer. Tis meant idolatry to make the service greater than the God. I take today a wife, and my election is led by the conduct of my will, my will enkindled by my eyes and ears, to trade the to the danger shores of will and judgment. How may I avoid? Although my real estate were elected, the why I chose. There can be no evasion to pledge from this and to stand firm by honor. Paris brought the Grecian queen whose youth and freshness wrinkled Apollo's and made stale the morning. Why keep we her? Is she worth keeping? Why, she is a pearl whose price had launched above a thousand ships and turned the crown of kings to merchants. Then in the estimation which you prize, richer than sea and land. Oh, that's most base, that we have stolen what we do fear to keep. But thieves, unworthy of a thing so stolen, that in their country did them that disgrace, we fear to ward in our native place. Cry, Jesus! Rejoice. What shirt is this? Tis a mad sister, I don't know her voice. Cry, Jesus! Cry! It is Cassandra. Cry, Jesus! Cry! Let me ten thousand eyes and fill them with prophetic tears! Peace, sister, peace! Cry, Jesus! Cry! Prophetic eyes and tears! Joy must not be their good lady of sin! Our firebrand brother Paris runs us all! Cry, Jesus! Cry! Why, brother Hector, we may not deject the courage of our minds because Cassandra is mad. Her brace and retros cannot distaste the goodness of a quarrel which had us ever honest, all engaged to make it gracious. I protest, were I alone to pass the difficulties and have the power as I will, Paris should never retract what he has done or faint in the pursuit. Paris, you speak like one with sudden on your sweet delights. You have the hardest steel with these to go. So to be valiant is no brace at all. Sir, I propose not merely to myself the pleasure such a beauty brings with it, but I would have the soil of a fair rape wiped off in honorable keeping her. I say, well may we fight for whom we know well, the words blind faces cannot parallel. out. Paris and Trulus, you have both said well, but superficially, the reasons you all age more conduce to the hot passion of this tempered blood than to make a free determination to its right and wrong for pleasure and revenge have ears more death than ever to the voice of any true decision. Yet, nevertheless, my spreadly brethren, I propend to you in re resolution to keep Helen still. But tis the cut that has no independence upon our joints and several dignities. I would not wish a drop of Trojan blood spent more in the fence. But, what the Hector, she is a theme of honor and renown, a spur to valiant and magnanimous deeds whose present courage may beat down our foes and fame in time to come canonize us. I am yours, you valiant offspring of great Primus. Hark, they're coming. Shall we stand up here and see them as they pass? Goodness do, sweetness, Christina. But, Hark, Troy is above the rest. At your pleasure. Oh, tis Troilus, there's a madness. Peace for shame, peace. <clears throat> Brave Troilus. I am weaker than a woman's tear. Mark him, note him, oh, brave Troilus. Oh, less valiant than the virgin of the night, as skillless as a practiced infancy. The prince of chivalry, look well upon him, miss. Look you, how his sword is blooded, and his helm is more hacked than Hector's. Look how he goes, and how he looks. Oh, what a marble youth. 
In Nessa 3 and 20. Go thy way, Troilus, go thy way. Why should I war without the walls of Troy? Well, well. Thou find'st such cool battle here within. Her Arya sister were a grace, or a doctor a goddess, he should take his choice. Paris? Paris is dead to him, and I weren't Helen to change or give an eye to booze. Booze on both sides! Helen must needs be fair when with your blood you daily paint of thus. Well, well. Well, well. Have you any discretion, or have you any eyes? Do you know what a man is? Is not fair, beauty, good shape, discourse, manhood, learning, gentleness, youth, liberality, and such like, the salt and spices is no man. I cannot fight upon this argument. Tis to start the subject for my soul. I a men's man, and then to be baked with no date in the pie, for then the men stays out. At Priam's royal table do I sit, and when fair crescent comes into my thoughts, so, traitor, when she comes, when is she thence? You are such a woman. One knows not at what world you lie. Upon my back, defend my belly. Upon my wheat, defend my wiles. Upon my secrecy, to defend my honesty. My mask, to defend my beauty. And you, defend all these. And I told these words a lie at a thousand watches. You are such another. Oh, fair your wellness, I'll be with you this by and by. To bring uncle? I a talking from Troilus. By the same token, you're a bard. But more in Troilus thousandfold I see than in the glass of Pandora's praise may be. Yet, hold I off. Women are angels, wooing, things won or done. Joy's soul lies in the doing. That she be loved knows that that knows not this. Men prize the thing ungained more than it is. That she was never yet that ever knew. Love got so sweet as when desire did so. <sighs> Tell me, Apollo, for thy that day's love, what crest it is, what panda, and what we. Her bed is India. There she lies, a pearl. Between our Ilium and where she resides, let it be called the wild and wandering flood, ourself the merchant, and this sailing panda, a doubtful hope, our convoy, and our bark. How now, how now, how now? Have you seen my cousin? <gasps> no, Pandarus. I stalk around her like a strange soul upon the siege bank, staying for waftage. Oh, gentle Pandarus, from Cupid's shoulder, pluck his painted wings, and fly with me to Crusted! Walk here in the orchard, I'll bring her straight. I am giddy! This expectation whirls me around! Death! I fear me soon in destruction, or some joy too fine, too soft to potent. And I do fear besides, that I shall lose this distinction in my joys! She's making her ready. She'll come straight. You must be witty now. She does so blush. She fetches her wings ashore as if she were afraid of a sprite. I'll fetch her. It is the prettiest villain. She fetches her breath as short as a new taken sparrow. Even such a passion doth embrace my bosom. My heart beats thicker than a fervorous pulse. And all my powers do that bestowing loose. Come, come, what need you blush? Shame's a baby. <coughs> Here she's now, swears the oath to her that you have sworn to me. Why do you not speak to her? Come, draw this curtain and let's see your picture. So, so, rub on, kiss the mistress. How now, kissing a thief arm? I'll go get a fire. Will you walk in, my lord? Oh! Crescent! How often have you wished me thus? Wish, my lord, the gods grant. Oh, my lord. What should they grant? 
What makes this pretty eruption? What two curious trick inspires my sweet lady in the fountain of our love? Poor drags and water, if my fears have eyes. Oh, let my lady your prince, no fear! In all Cupid's pageant, there is presented no monster! They say all lovers wear more performance than their age, and yet reserve an ability that they never perform. Are they not monsters? Are there such? Such are not we. <clears throat> fear worse from fair faith. Troilus shall be decrescent. What envy can say was, it shall be a mock for his truth, and what truth can speak truest, not truer than Troilus. Will you walk in, my lord? How now, blushing steel, have you not done talking yet? Well, uncle, what folly I commit, I dedicate to you. Oh, I thank you for that. If my lord get a boy of you, you give him me. Be true to my lord. If he flinch, you'll chime me for it. You know not your hostages, your uncle's word and my firm faith. Nay, nah, I'll give my word for her too. Boldness comes to me now and brings me heart. Prince Troilus, I have loved you night and day for many weary months. Then so hard to win. Hard to seem won, but I was won, my lord, with the first glance that ever. Pardon me, if I confess much, you will play the tyrant. I love you now, but not till now. So much what I might master it. In faith I lie. See, we fools, why have I blabbed? But though I loved you well, I would you not, and yet, good faith. I wish myself a man, or that we women had man's privilege of speaking first. Sweet, bid me hold my tongue. Pretty, pretty faith. Pardon me, my lord, t'was not my purpose thus to beg a kiss. I'm ashamed, for this time will, will I take my leave, my lord. What, what a fancy lady! Sir, mine own company. I have a kind of self that resides with you. Well know they what they speak that speaks so wisely. Purchase, my lord. I show more craft than love. You're wise, or else you love not. For to be wise in love exceeds man's might that dwells with gods above. Oh, that I thought it could be in a woman! As if it can, I'm presuming you. But, alas, I am true as true simplicity and simpler than the infancy of truth. In that, I'll worry with you. Oh, virtues fight! When right, with right words, it shall be most right. True things in love shall in the world to come approve their truths by choiceless. When their rhymes, full of protest, of oath and big compare, one single is truth tired in iteration. As true as steel, as planet to the moon, as, 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 as iron to adamant, as earth to the center. Yet, after all comparisons, com comparisons of truth, as truth's authentic author to be cited, as true as Troilus shall crown the verse and sanctify the numbers. Prophet may you be, if I be false or swerve a hair from truth, when time is old and hath forgot itself, when blind oblivion swallow cities up, and mighty states characterless are great to dust in nothing. Yet, let memory, from false to false among false maids in love, upbraid my falsehood. When they said as false as air, as water, as wind, or sandy earth, as fox to lamb, or wolf to hater's cap, a part to the hind, a step dame to a son. Yeah, let them say, to stick the heart of falsehood, as false as cursed. Go to a bargain maid, amen, whereupon I will show you a chambered with bad, because which bad it shall not speak of your pretty encounters, prassy to death, away. And Cupid grand all tongue-tied maiden's ear, a bad and chamber and pander to provide this gear.
lord, I'll call thine uncle down. He shall unbolt the gate. Oh, uh, trouble him not. Too bad. Too bad. Are you weary of me? Oh, Priscilla! Night hath been too brief. Beshrew the witch. You'll catch a corn and curse me. Prithee, Terry. Hark, there's, there's one up. What? Is all the doors open here? It is your uncle. A pestilence on him. Now will he be mocking. I shall have such a life. How now, how now, how now? How go maidenhead? Here you made. Here you made. Where's my cousin Cressida? Go hang yourself, you naughty mocking uncle. You bring me to do, and then you flog me too. <laughs> to do what? To do what? Not to say you ought. What have I brought you to do? Come, come, be true your heart. You'll never be good nor suffer others. <laughs> Poor wretch, I for Capocchia has not slept tonight. Oh, would he not? A naughty man let to sleep. Did I not tell you? Would he were knocked in the head? Who's that at door? My lord, come you again into my chamber. Ooh. You smile and mock me as if I meant not to be. <laughs> come, you're deceived. I think of no such thing. How earnestly they knock. Good uncle, go and see. My lord, I will not for half Troy have you seen here. How now? Will you beat down the door? What's the matter? How now? What's the matter? Who's there? Good What's morning, the matter? Lord. Good morning. Oh, my Lord Paris. Is that Prince Trollof here? <laughs> here? Why, what should he do here? Come get mm -hmm. here, my Lord. Go fetch him hither. Go. Go. Trollof. Brother Trollof. How now? What's the matter? Brother, I scarce have those to greet you. My matter is so rash. The Grecian dealman and our enter will deliver to us. And for him for it, uh, you're the first sacrifice, but in this hour, we must give up to the human pen, Lady Prestida. Is it so concluded? By Priam and the general state of Troy. They are attend and ready to effect it. How? My achievements mock me! I'll go meet them. Is it possible? No sooner got but lost? The devil take Antenor. The young prince will go mad. Plague upon Antenor. Why would they broke snack? How now? What's the matter? Prithee, get thee in, what thou hast ne'er been born. I knew thou would be his death. A poor gentleman, a plague upon Antinor. Good uncle, I beseech you, what's the matter? Thou must be gone, wench, thou must be gone. Thou art changed for Antinor, and Thou to thy father, and, and, and be gone from Troilus. Oh, Toby's death, Toby's reign, you cannot bear it. Oh, you immortal God, I will not go. Thou must. I will not, uncle, I have forgot my father. I know no touch of consanguinity, no kin, no love, no blood, no soul so near me as the sweet Troilus. Oh, you gods divine, may Cressus name the very crown of falsehood if ever she lived Troilus. Time, force, death, do to this body what extremes you can. But the strong base and building up my love is as the center of the earth, drawing all things to it. I'll go in and win. Do. Oh, cheer my bright tail and squint my pretty cheeks and crack my clear voice with song and break my heart with sounding trilogy. I will not go from John. Be moderate, be moderate. Why tell me of moderation? The grape is fine, full, perfect that I taste, and my mind in a sense as strong as that which counterfeit. How can I be moderate? Oh, here, here he comes. Oh, Trilus! <laughs> oh, sweet dogs! What a pair of spectacles is here! Let me embrace too! Oh, hearts! Oh, hearts! As the goodly saying is, why sighs thou without breaking? Where he answers again, because 
Thou canst not even <laughs> smile by friendship nor by speaking. Oh, there was never a truer rhyme. Oh. Is it true that I must go from Troy? A hateful truth. What? And from Troilus too? From Troy and Troilus. Is it possible? And suddenly, in joyous time, now with the rubble stays, crowns the trustee of he knows not how. As many failures as be stars in heaven, with distinct breath and consigned kisses to them, he fumbles up into a loose adieu, and scans us with a single fairest kiss, distasted with a salt of broken tears. Brother, is the lady ready? Bid that patience! That she shall come anon. Where are my tears? Rain to lay this wind, or my heart will be blown up by the root. No remedy. A lawful curse is amongst the merry Greeks. When shall we see again? Hear me, my love. Be thou but true of heart. Be true? I speak not be thou true as in fearing thee. For I will throw my glove to death himself that there's no maculage in thy heart. But be thou true, say I, to fashion in my secret protestation. Be thou true, and I will see thee. Where the sleep? And you, this glove, when shall I see you? I will corrupt the Christian sentinels to give thee nightly visitation, but yet be true. Be true again, you love me not. Hear what I speak in love. The Christian youth are full of quality. Their loving, one composed with gifts of nature, filling and swelling all with art and exercise. How, how nobility may move and pass with person. Alas, a kind of bloody jealousy makes me a fear! Oh, Alice, you love me not! Die! I am filled of death! In this, I do not call your faith and pleasure so mainly as my merit. I cannot sing, nor hear the high of vault, nor sweet to talk, nor play a subtle games. Fair virtues all to which the questions are most prompt and pregnant. But I can tell that in each grace of these, there lurks the still and dumb discourse of devil that tempts most cunningly, but yet be not tempted. Do you think I will be tempted? No! 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 But something may be done that we will not. And sometimes we are devils to ourselves when we will tempt the frailty of our powers, presuming on the changeful potency. Neither, my brother. Come kiss and let us part. Brother Troila. Good brother, come you hither and my bring the question with you. My lord, will you be true? Who, I? Unless it is my vice. The moral of my wit is plain and true. That's all the reach of it. Welcome, said Diamond. Here is the lady which for antenna we deliver you, and possess thee what she is. They treat her fair. Fair Lady Crescent, so please you, save the thanks this prince expects. The luster in your eye, heaven in your cheek, please your fair usage. And to Diomed you shall be mistress, and command him holy. I charge thee, you so well, even for my charge. For, but the dreadful pleader thou dost not, be the great bog Achilles, be thy god, or cut thy throat. Oh, be not moved, Prince Troilus. Let me be privileged by my place and message to be a speaker free. When I am hers, I'll answer to my lust. And know your lord, I'll not be in charge. To her own word, she shall be prized. But that just say be so, I'll stick it in my spirit and honor, no. I'll tell thee, damn it! This prey shall often make thee to hide thy head. Hark! Hack the strumpet!
Oh! Kristen! Oh! Fuck! Kristen! False! 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 Oh! Ah! That's all I just stand by the state name and they will seem glorious! Well, I voted fair. And, dear mid, stand fast and wear a castle on thy head. <laughs> They're at it, Hawk. Proud, dear mid, believe I come to lose my arm with my sleeve. Do you hear, my lord? Do you hear? What's now? Here's a letter from poor young girl. Wait. Oh, a horse and tissic. A horse and rascally tissic so troubles me. And what one thing and what another that I shall leave you one of these days, and, and I have a real in my eyes, and, and such an ache in my bones, unless a man were cursed, and that I cannot think what to tell on it. What says you there? Words. Words. Me and words. No matter from the heart, the effect doth operate another way. Go with to with them, turn and chase together. My love with words and error still she feeds, but edifies another with her deeds. What instance for it? Let me see. Full narrowly the humble bee does sing. <laughs> to me has lost his honey and his sting. <laughs> and once subdued in armed tail, and sweet honey and sweet notes together fail. Good traders in a flash set this into your painted clothes. As many as be here of Henders fall, your eyes have out Weep out at Pender's fall. Nor you can out weep, yet give some bronze. Though not for me, but for your aching bones. Brethren and sisters of the hall door trade, some two months hand, my will shall here be made. 
It should be now, but my fear is this. Some, some gale good of Winchester would heed. Till then, I'll sweat and sick about freezes. And at that time, bequeath you my diseases. <laughs>